combining beauty with function is always the goal of the artist and engineer. For 56 years, this achievement traditionally has been accorded Cadillac. This year, Cadillac has reached new heights in integrating design and artistic craftsmanship to produce today's ultimate in the high-priced car field. Cadillac's competition this year is making an all-out effort to bedazzle prospects with superficial engineering and styling changes. The 1958 Chrysler Imperial is one of Cadillac's more aggressive challengers. How do the two cars compare? Cadillac engineers match them line for line, detail for detail. These are the facts they uncovered and reported to help you help your prospect instantly recognize the superiority of Cadillac. This year, Chrysler has reduced its body dimensions to create an illusion of low silhouette. At best, the new Imperial is a warmed over version of the 1957 models. Cadillac is the standard other cars try to attain. With its sculptured lines, massive strength and quiet elegance, Cadillac reflects quality throughout. From any angle, the Imperial does not measure up. Its front view is sprawling and uninspired. Its hood lines are loosely set in a flat plane. Fine car features seem lacking when details in the hood area are closely examined. For example, a rear vision mirror is stuck awkwardly on the fender. It cannot be adjusted from inside the car. Positioning it is a two-man operation. But Cadillac's outside rear view mirror can be positioned by the driver from inside with no more effort than an easy flick of the interior adjustment control. The same lack of finely finished detail is evident in the Imperial's radio antenna. It only partially retracts into a fender well. Cadillac's, of course, retracts fully. These towering fins are Imperial's most flamboyant feature, but it's difficult to determine at first glance whether they mark a Chrysler, a Dodge, or a Plymouth, since even the cheapest of the Chrysler cars draw heavily on this styling pattern. Contrary to Chrysler's highly touted effort toward aviation styling, the Imperial has a roof line that's chopped by a non-functional metal band that destroys the continuity of its silhouette. Serving no apparent purpose and lacking beauty, this feature is a weak answer to Cadillac's traditionally accepted concept of fine car styling. Contrast the Imperial's superficialities with this symphony of integrated design, contours pleasing to the eye rich in the graceful styling that's the hallmark of distinction. Cadillac for 58 is truly a combination of function and beauty, of contemporary freshness and classic symmetry. In order to achieve its radically curved lines, the Imperial cuts corners where they count at the expense of convenience. This rear deck and trunk area is an example cramped and confined, forcing owners to lay a minimum of luggage flat in an area almost filled by the spare tire. Cadillac's luggage compartment is roomy, thoughtfully designed to permit easy loading or unloading of even the largest luggage. And the spare tire takes up only its share of space in a position that permits quick and easy access. The Chrysler Imperial uses safety type window glass, it's true but it's not of Cadillac's high quality safety plate glass, and there's a clear vision world of difference. Throughout Cadillac, safety plate glass is used to assure the clearest, safest vision obtainable for passengers and driver. The steering wheel of the Imperial is located at an unusually low angle. Moving beneath it isn't an easy, graceful motion, but a maneuver calling for wriggling and twisting. But Cadillac's wheel is positioned so even the largest driver can slip beneath it quickly and comfortably. Fully adjustable power seats, of course, make perfect driving comfort possible for everybody. Once behind the Imperial's wheel, the driver is confronted with what is certainly one of the most confusing cluster of instruments and controls in an American automobile today. Unchanged since 1957, 
the transmission buttons are stacked one above the other in such a manner they require momentary study to select the right driving sequence. There is no parking position. And it is dangerously easy to punch reverse at critical moments when you want to go forward. In striking contrast, Cadillac's easily read and remembered instrument panel, every control and gauge exactly where it should be, revealing the performance story to the driver in a split second so he can devote full time to the highway. The Imperial's glove compartment is at the extreme right of the instrument panel, almost entirely out of reach of the driver. And it's small. Easily accessible to the driver as well as front seat passengers, Cadillac's glove compartment opens flat, its door forming a handy shelf. This is just one of dozens of interior features pointing up Cadillac's superiority over the Imperial. Nowhere in the Imperial is there a more glaring example of lack of fine car quality than in the windshield. Lacking safety plate glass and sharply curved in the corners, distortion may be extreme and cause considerable eye strain. Now here's Cadillac's windshield, designed with comfort and safety uppermost in mind. Safety plate glass and tinted a neutral gray, this windshield is typical of Cadillac's quality craftsmanship, functional application of art to allow excellent vision under all conditions, from all angles. Vision? There's little or none from the Imperial's interior rear vision mirror because it's mounted low on the instrument panel. The mirror reflects images of the passengers instead of the road. Here again, Cadillac's careful attention to minute detail is illustrated. Cadillac's rear view mirror is high enough to reflect the road behind over the heads of rear seat passengers, yet low enough to fall into the driver's natural line of vision. Details planned and integrated into Cadillac's overall design for safe driving. As in Lincoln, the Chrysler Imperial's drivetrain intrudes high into the front seat area to rob passengers of space and comfort. Even the smallest passenger is cramped, trying to straddle the drivetrain tunnel. Comfort, convenience, quality, and critical design went into Cadillac's engineering of this lower, flatter drive tunnel. Another superior feature that makes Cadillac the roomiest and most luxurious automobile available, undisputed leader in the high price field. The Imperial this year features a notched back seat designed to give the impression of four individually styled seats. Well, it's not only an impression, it's a fact. Imperial seats only four people in comfort, despite the fact Imperial is listed as a six passenger car. Can the Imperial honestly compare with this? Here is another fact, the ultimate in true six passenger comfort clear, unrestricted vision all the way around, headroom for the tallest passengers, and rich, beautifully tailored upholstery. Cadillac offers an inch more headroom and five inches more hip room in the rear than Imperial. Beneath the Imperial surface lies a now familiar story of old fashioned construction, a side rail frame similar to those used in smaller, cheaper Chrysler cars. But this tubular center X-frame is the foundation for Cadillac's precision engineering. The result, the smoothest, strongest frame in the industry. With its old fashioned rail frame, Imperial is forced to use hard springing. Torsion bars in front and leaf springs, little changed since horse and buggy days in the rear. Together, they fail to provide a luxury car ride. Into Cadillac construction goes the latest advancements in ride comfort and performance. Your choice of four-link coil suspension or air ride assures unparalleled riding qualities, smooth, controlled, and silent. The Imperial is equipped with 14-inch wheels, just as Lincoln is. And also like the Lincoln, the Imperial uses oversized tires at pressures independent engineers can too low to be safe. 15-inch wheels carrying 800 or 820 tires reduce roll 
and provide greater safety for Cadillac and at the same time, longer tire life. Consider now the finish of both cars. Imperial uses enamel that's inclined toward dullness, particularly in the darker shades. But Cadillac's high gloss, richly superior lacquer sparkles throughout its long lifetime. It's the little things multiplied many times over that count, like the failure of Imperial to make each molding match exactly. However, Cadillac's precision quality, Fleetwood coachcraft, and attention to the smallest detail assures a perfect fit on each molding. One more sign that Cadillac follows its treasured slogan of craftsmanship a creed, accuracy a law, all of Cadillac's undeniably sea features are integrated into the production of Motordom's masterpiece, Cadillac for 1958. Quality car beyond compare.